Well, I mean, considering the, the you know, the, I should say maybe the historical aspect of it, this being Floyd's last fight, this being Berto being discredited, uh, not really given the respect in, uh, in the sense of um, he's not worthy of this fight. Yeah, I mean, you know, it goes deep down inside, you know, and when you've come up, as Berto's come up and gone through what he's gone through, I mean, it's a diss, right? I mean, it's like, again, getting back to the hip hop business. That's why the, the rappers beef like they do. They'll kill each other, you know? Because one is shining, another other is shining. Or one knows, man, what you're talking about, you didn't live it, you know? They'll say that in a minute. You know, you're talking about stuff you didn't even live, man. You fake, you phony, you know? You're a paper rapper. I mean, then there you go. It's on. Gunfire and everything else, you see? So that dynamic exists in the fight world because most of these fighters, they know about each other. They know the backgrounds of each other, where they came from, because, you know, the game is packed in. They, they run in the same circles, so to speak, patronize the same place, and they know the same people. So when you put that element together, when you, you know, in the, in the infusion of hip hop and boxing, right? Uh, you know, you've had females who've gotten famous hanging around boxing, you see? You know, guys have gotten famous hanging around boxing. You see guys in this room today that two years ago, you know, they found their way some kind of way in a circle of a boxer, you know, and now people know them. They've been here, done that, you see? So those things exist. And then when you take it all the way back to where it all started, you know, and as the root forms, and you know, maybe one path is different than the other, but when it accumulates and it meets head on, you know, in that space, something's gonna happen. So if you know the reason, 